The longest field goal in the NFL was a 64-yarder kick by Matt Prater, but the longest field goal ever kicked was by a college student named Ove Johansson, a Swede who had only just started playing football that year as a way to be closer to the girl he loved. Ove Johansson, born in Sweden in 1948, grew up with the American dream twinkling in his eye, which at the time was still a thing. And after a stint in the Navy, he jumped at an opportunity to play semi-pro soccer in Dallas, Texas. It was there during a soccer match in 1972 that he noticed a young woman sitting in the stands. He asked her for her number and the rest is history. They are still married today. How does this story of a love-stricken soccer player factor into the story of the longest field goal? Well, April, Ove's wife-to-be, enrolled at Abilene Christian University, and he intended to follow her there. ACU didn't have a soccer team, and Ove didn't have the money for school, so he decided to put his soccer skills to use on the football field in an attempt to get a scholarship. He spent six months strengthening his leg by kicking waterlogged footballs. He then showed up to an ACU football practice to ask for a spot on a team, and blasted a kickoff out of the field and into the parking lot. Obviously impressed, ACU offered Ove a scholarship and he joined the team for the 1976 season. On October 16th of that year, in the waning seconds of the first half of ACU's homecoming game against East Texas State, they trotted out their newly acquired kicker in an attempt to put points on the board before they headed to the locker room. A Hail Mary of a kick from 69 yards out but Ove had hit two 70-yarders during warm-ups, so they knew they had a chance. Ove put it through the uprights with yards to spare. The crowd went wild, and ACU went on to win the game 17-0. 69 yards. Nice. The longest field goal in organized football. But what exactly does that mean? ACU was playing in the NAIA, not the NCAA. The NCAA record is 67 yards, shared by three players, all of whom did it in the 1977-78 season. The high school field goal record is a yard longer than the NCAA record, sitting at 68 yards, set by Dirk Borgogonier in 1985. All these field goals are longer than Matt Prater's NFL record, 64-yarder, that he hit in 2013. So it's official. NFL kickers are just worse than all the other levels of football kickers. Obviously, this is not the case. The discrepancy comes from a differing set of rules amongst the different levels. For example, kicking tees were used in college football until they were banned after the 1988 season, 12 years after Johansson's kick. In addition to the use of tees, high school field goal posts are 23 feet 4 inches wide, as were college goal posts until 1991. NCAA goal posts are now the NFL standard 18 feet 6 inches. This doesn't change the fact that Ove Johansson hit a 69-yard field goal in a game. It just explains why it has yet to happen in the NFL. The real question is who even attempts a field goal that long in the first place? The answer to that question is not many. Since the merger, the NFL has only seen seven field goal attempts of 69 yards or more. And of the 134 attempts from 60 yards or more, only 18 have been successful. So for now, Ove Johansson holds the record for longest field goal. And the shame is we didn't really see him get a chance at the professional level. Ove blew out his knee in the Shrine Bowl at the end of that 1976 season. He still went on to become the oldest player to ever get drafted to the NFL at 28 years and 281 days old, something he achieved after only playing football for one year. But his knee never fully healed, and his NFL career ended after playing in only two games. He hit one of his four field goal attempts, a 32-yarder. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. The first thousand people to like this video get a gift card to Rug World. Uh, there's only one store, it's in Tampa, but it's all right, it's a, it's a great store.